guys, welcome to the day of the Tour de France 2018, first stage in Fontenay Le Comte. Charlie and uh, Harry are over here having a good time. Already got a cap, so it's off to a good start. Over the last seven days, we've cycled nearly 800 kilometers to get to this very start. So I'm very excited to be here, and for the next three days, we're going to be following the Tour de France from here back to Cholet. So we're going to have a really good day, try and get some more free merch and just have a really good time. It's absolutely crazy. It's quite noisy, so apologies if you can't hear me. Here is the podium just here. Me and Harry have just found a really good spot up here where we can uh, see the finish line, which is just in front of me here. But we seem to have lost Charlie. Um, so I'm just going to try and find Charlie. And then we're all going to head back up there. I think that's going to be our spot for the day because um, we can see the finish line and the uh, award ceremony over there. So it's a really good spot. Absolutely packed. Everyone's trying to get free hats, free merch. Here's the finish line. So we're going to stand just past the finish line today, I think. <laughs> Check out our sweet new hats. They're actually doing their job, keeping the sun off our face. This is our position that we've gone for. Um, finish line is just down there, right here. So when the riders come down up here, we should be able to get good shots. It's absolutely boiling, so Charlie's just popped to the shop to try and get some water. What do you think of the Tour de France so far? Uh, the atmosphere is mad. So I'm not going to lie, I did not think there'd be this much buzz about uh, the first stage. I thought yeah. that'd be more of a kind of in Paris kind of thing. Yeah. But every yeah. every stage like this, in every town that passes through. I mean, I guess like with crazy. so many people want to watch it and it's spreading over such a wide area, I guess it would be, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's the biggest sporting event in, in France, I'm pretty sure. Seriously? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. That's why it's so crazy. Just have a look at all these people lining the route. So many people. Skybus. 
Right, so we just finished uh, watching the first stage of the Tour de France. What were your opinions, guys? It was fantastic. Had a good little uh, look around Fontenay as well. Really lovely city. We managed to go to the Team Sky bus um, at the end, which Froome was on, but we didn't actually get to see Froome. But we got the second best thing, which is one of his, well, not his, uh, Luke Rowe, Team Sky's, um, Chris Froome's team, teammate. We got his water bottle. We got 40k to cycle still today, though, and it is, what time is it now? Uh, 10 to 5. It's 10 to 5, so we're probably not going to leave till about half 5. Um, which means we probably won't be able to get to the place to about half 8, 9 o'clock, but that's not a problem. We should be fine. I mean, it's a lot cooler to cycle. Um, and we're going to be going to stage 2 tomorrow as well. You got it. You got it good. Come on, let. Come on, let as you are. You got it. You got it good. So we got here about 9 o'clock this evening. And we were greeted by a whole family, actually, um, who live at this house. We're staying in the Airbnb which is actually in their converted basement. They greeted us with beers, with some pizza and um, it was actually really nice because they didn't. They spoke as pretty much as much English as we spoke French. Um, so there was a good, there was a nice uh, language barrier there so it made, for some, it made for some funny interactions. We used Google Translate in the end when we were trying to translate things and we were talking about the World Cup. We're going to go to stage two tomorrow and hopefully stage three on Monday as well. So I'm just sitting down to get a bit of editing done from today. So I hope you enjoy it. Uh, stay intrepid and we'll see you again tomorrow with another vlog. Good night guys. Summer.